greetings all and welcome to purple trades today we are going to talk about one of the newly released index called as fin nifty or also called as nifty financial services in this video we are going to talk about understanding this new index what is fin nifty and what are its components we'll also compare this new index with already existing bank nifty and, and analyze which index is better also we are going to talk about what are the trading advantages in fin nifty so let's start first of all fin nifty or also called as nifty financial service was first launched on 7th september 2011 at a base price of 1000 so this index is not new it is not formed recently this index is with us from last 10 years it started with a base price of 1000 and while listing it listed at around 15000 so it became tradable since yesterday that is on 11th of june 2021 it first became tradable on nse the lot size of fin nifty is 40 that means you will have to buy either 40 or in the multiple of 40 itself and fin nifty unlike bank nifty is actually made up of a lot of companies from different financial sectors like there are companies from banking sector nbfc sector financial institutions insurance housing finance and etc now if we talk about fin nifty let us talk about sector wise composition as said fin nifty unlike bank nifty is made up of financial sector but inside financial sector it has a lot of sub sectors so categorizing this is how the composition looks like fin nifty is roughly made up of 63% of banks 18.5% of housing finance 8.1% nbfc there is 8% insurance company and 1.3% other companies as well and talking about script wise composition so these are the 20 scripts that are the constituents of fin nifty and this is how the composition looks like so the most heavyweight among these are hdfc bank hdfc icici bank kotak bank axis bank state bank of india bajaj finance these are all the heavyweights apart from them there are a lot of small small companies like chola finance state bank of india life then there is pfc rec icici gi so forth and so on and now comparing this particular index with bank nifty here are some comparison as said fin nifty is made up of six sub sectors in financial sector however bank nifty is made up of only banking sector that means all the stocks in bank nifty represent only banking sector whereas in fin nifty you have stocks from banks housing finance nbfc so forth and so on also when i talk about script composition the composition of heavyweights like like hdfc bank icici bank kotak bank are almost same the only difference being the composition in axis bank in fin nifty you will see axis bank is having half of the weightage of kotak bank whereas in bank nifty kotak bank and axis bank are having almost same composition that is around 15 15% each but whereas in fin nifty axis bank is having only 6.5% weightage and kotak bank is having around 12% weightage so so market cap distribution is more even in fin nifty compared to bank nifty so comparing fin nifty yes fin nifty is made up of 20 scripts whereas bank nifty is made up of only 12 scripts covers all the major financial sector covers only banking sector has weekly futures and option yes this is for the first time that there are weekly futures also introduced so far we could trade only in weekly options in nifty and bank nifty but in case now you wish to trade in weekly futures you can do that in fin nifty however bank nifty has only monthly future and weekly options the conclusion is that fin nifty is more diversified and hence less volatile whereas bank nifty is less diversified it has only banking stocks and is more volatile before i wrap up the discussion i also want to show you how different sectors have performed in last one year to compare banking scripts against the financial sector scripts i've just taken heavyweights of all the industries like i have bajaj finance hdfc hdfc bank pel icici gi so almost heavyweights from bank from housing finance from insurance from other financial sectors so what you will see here is that there are graphs which were 
same in around 2018 so around 2018 the value of almost all the graphs was same but from 2018 to 2021 you will see some graphs have fallen down some graphs have exponentially gone up some graphs are there itself so what i'm trying to explain you here is that the more the more diverse we become in a sector the more stability it will provide us as an investor so in fin nifty some stocks have not performed some stocks have performed extremely well extremely well so overall you would have made good returns but if you are focusing on only one sector say like banking sector or an automobile sector if that sector falls down then your portfolio gets a bigger hit so that is the reason we say that fin nifty is more diversified and hence less volatile to promote trading in fin nifty nsc says that it will charge zero transaction fees until june 2021 that means apart from brokerage you need not pay any other extra transaction cost at all till june 2021 and also to to promote trading brokers like zero and fires have also made it zero brokerage for around 1 and 2 months thank you so much for watching this video spread knowledge cause it's free and if you like our video do like subscribe and share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much